Fingers 47 here, and welcome back to Oblivion Storytime. <laughs> uh, it's good. I like it so far. So it continued for a week's time. The Duchess saw to it that at least one person was always present in the foyer, but somehow the arrow always found its way to her painting whenever the guard's eyes were momentarily averted. A complex series of signals were devised, so each patrol could report back any sounds or disturbances they encountered during their vigil. At first, the Duchess arranged them so that so her Castellan or Castellan would receive word record of any disturbances during the day and the chief of the guard during the night. But when she found that she could not sleep, she made certain that the information came to her directly. The atmosphere in the palace had shifted from gloomy to nightmarish. A snake would slither across the moat, and suddenly her grace would be tearing through the east wing to investigate. A strong gust of wind ruffling the leaves on one of the few trees in the lawn was a similar emergency. An unfortunate lone traveler on the road in front of the palace, a completely innocent man as it turned out, brought such a violent reaction that he must have thought that he had stumbled on a war. In a way, he had. And every morning, there was a new arrow in the front hall mocking her. I was given the terrible assignment of guarding the portrait for a few hours in the early morning. Not wanting to be the one to, to discover the arrow, I seated myself in a chair opposite, never letting my eyes move away for even a second. I don't know if you've had the experience of watching one object relentlessly, but it has a strange effect. All other senses vanish. It was why I was particularly startled when the Duchess rushed into the room, blurring the gulf for me between her portrait and herself. There's something moving behind the tree across the road from the gate, she roared. Oh, wait. This is the, the Duchess. There's something moving behind the trees across the road from the gate, she roared, pushing me aside and fumbling with her key in the gold lock. She was shaking with madness and excitement, and the key did not seem to want to go in. I reached out to help her, but the Duchess was already kneeling, her eye to the keyhole to be certain that the key went through. It was precisely at that second that the arrow arrived... But this one never made it as far as the portrait. I actually met Miss and Aiken years later. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, it was precisely in that second that the arrow arrived. But this one never made it as far as the portrait. That's... <laughs> she got shot in the face with an arrow. That's awesome. I actually met Miss and, Miss and Aiken years later while I was in Morrowind to entertain some nobles. He was impressed that I had risen from being in humble domestic servant to being a bard of some renown. He found him, he himself had returned to the Ashlands, and, like his old master Humast, was retired to the simple life of teaching and hunting. I told him that I had heard that Lady Valea had decided not to leave the city, and that the village of Modiva had been rebuilt. He was happy to hear that, but I could not find a way to ask him what I really wanted to know. I felt like a fool just wondering if what I thought were true, that he had been behind Prolissa's tree across the road from the gate every morning that summer, firing an arrow through the gate, across the lawn, across the moat, through a keyhole, and into a portrait of the D Duchess of Woda until he struck the Duchess herself. It was clearly an impossibility. I chose not to ask. As we left one another that day, and he was waving goodbye, he said, I'm pleased to see you doing so well, my friend. I'm happy you moved that chair. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a good story. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Anyway. That's a fun little jaunt. I need to grab my book. Sorry. Sorry, dear. Oh, wow. Uh, no, we're not going to read that one yet because we don't know yet how much we're just going to wait assume that my it's been two hours okay I come from speaking with Count Indaris and I have news for you hey buddy I'm speaking to the Count and in light of the evidence you recovered Ulrich has been removed from his post and arrested Good. Many guards are coming forward with more evidence of his greed, so it's safe to say he'll be spending quite a bit of time in the city dungeons. 
I've been promoted to the post of captain of the guard and hope to return respect to the peacekeepers of this town. Uh, cool. Because I thank you for helping bring Ulrich's hold on Chaden Hall to an end and for doing so without unnecessary bloodshed. As a token of our gratitude, mm -hmm. as you did this, at the risk of false imprisonment or perhaps your life, we reward you this bounty of gold. <gasps> on behalf of the people of Chaden Six, Hall, is, is, is it 600 gold? I thank you. 650 gold. Ulrich will be spending years in the city dungeons. Ooh, I want to go talk to him. We meet again. Yeah, man. See what he has to say to me. That douche nozzle. Um. I gotta figure out how to get back to the keep. Is it that way? I do believe it is. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that the the dungeons are in the like below the county hall. Boom dum 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 um, dee dum dum. Nope. I always think that there's like secret, secret areas there, you know. How do we get? Where are the dungeons here? Great hall. Private quarters. Huh. Perhaps not. Ah, fine. Great Hall. Well, let's check the Great Hall, I guess. Might be a branch off of the Great Hall. Really? Oh. That's fair. Let's wait till it's reasonably later in the day, in the morning. In the morning. Seriously, seriously, bruh. Well met. Hello, Garrus. I like Garrus. He's he's actually kind of a cool dude. I don't care much that he's a guard. Perhaps I might just say screw it and go about my way. Look at the muscles on you. Is this here? Yes, yes. Okay, sleeping quarters for the jailers, I guess. Oh, um, hey. Yes. I suppose I have to. Keep your hand to yourself in there. I'll be right next to you the whole time. That's fine. Open the damn door, man. Prisoners may not accept gifts. Come to gloat, eh? I have. But you better hope I never get out of here. Ha ha. Remorse? Ha. You better hope I never get out of here. I hope you do. I hope you come after me. Rice Lysanders is one of the greatest... Remorse? Ha. That's great. I haven't got all day. <laughs> Do 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 do. You're off duty now. Do do. I'm hungry. I'm 
Did it just... Oh, like I know I pressed X. Why didn't it not open the door? Great! That's good. We have another side quest done. We are burning through our side quests like crazy! Yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. That's fine. It's kind of fun. And weird. here oh my gosh my eyeballs hello I'm Tavella Lopez I apologize that I can't give you the respect a guest in my home would normally receive but I am at my wits end I'm sorry to be so forward but I desperately need your help it seems that my husband Wright has gone missing and I just don't know what to do. Okay. Yes, my husband is the wife of Anders. Have you heard of him? Uh, there's no time for idle chatter. Oh, yes, of course you're right. I shouldn't. Yes, Wright likes to work in his. He's a painter. Door locked, so no one can disturb him. He usually comes out to eat dinner and sleep. And he has a magic but two days paintbrush. But when he didn't come out for a full day, I unlocked the studio with a key he said to use only in emergencies. It turned out he wasn't inside. I'm sure he never left that room. So I have no idea where he's gone. Please help me find Wright. I love him dearly and I'm so worried. Okay. Don't worry. Oh, thank you so very much. Here's the key to do. Got it. Do be careful. All right. Now here's what we need to do. We need to save it first because once or twice I've played this quest and it's glitched me stuck in the realm here. I don't want to steal his paintbrushes. That would just be rude. And I have no use for them. That's the, that's the key. Hey. Where did you come from? You look real enough. You must be from the outside. Oh, thank goodness someone finally came. <sighs> While I'm overjoyed to see a friendly face, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Yeah. You're stuck here like I am. Sorry to break it to you like that, but if it wasn't for that annoying thief, we wouldn't be in this predicament. Thief? I was in my studio when a Bosma wearing dark clothing accosted me. Before I could call for help, he... When I came to... I found that the door to my studio was still locked. There was something on the canvas of my painting that I hadn't put there. It looked somewhat like a troll, but it was badly done. Then it hit me. The Bosma must have leapt into the painting, then painted guardians inside to protect himself using the brush of true paint. Uh. I knew the secret of my success would be revealed right. one day. I can tell you all about the brush, if you like. Uh, please do. Very well. The brush showed up several years ago in the possession of an artist who was serving in the Arnesian War of 396. It seems an errant fireball had exploded next to him, and he lost the use of both arms. He was a stubborn man who didn't want to give up his talent. Being a devout follower of Devella, he prayed to her for something that would allow him to express himself once more. She heard his plea and gifted him with the brush. It said the bristles of the brush are woven from Debella's own hair. That injured man was my father. He passed the brush on to me, and I hmm. intend to pass it along to my kin one day. Did you want to know how it works? 
Sure. The brush allows the artist to paint from within a canvas. It opens a portal into which the artist may enter to paint things life-sized. All the painter has to do is have the brush in his possession, and whatever he imagines appears in the canvas. Whoa. Of course, I like to wave it around anyway. It makes me feel more like a legitimate painter. I guess it all doesn't matter now. Unless you can defeat those painted That's dope. Tools, we have no chance of getting the brush back. That's super dope. The trolls that the thief painted seem to have turned on their creator and killed him. <laughs> they didn't know the brush had its wrists. The creatures are now loose all over the forest and in the clearing where I was still working. The brush is on the I will not be able to help you. I am not a warrior. But take these bottles of turpentine. They might help. Do be careful. Okay. I'll have to remember to remove the trolls from my painting before I complete this piece. Any luck yet? I, dude, I... Shut the fuck up. Damn, man. I just now... Ah! Alright. We are out of time, ladies and gents. We will uh, finish this quest up in the next video. Alrighty. <laughs> Foma tuna.